Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Oh, fine. Can you see us? us? Yes, I can. Oh, great. Oh, All awesome. Right. Well, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview. Thank you for having us. Well, it's it's uh, great to be able to talk to you as well and talk about this great new album coming out in just a few weeks now with Starstruck. I've gotten the chance to be able to check out this album this week, and this is just such a fun record and something I think we really need in 2022. Thank this, you. All of the songs are so catchy. There's some great heavy moments that are on there, some great melodic, catchy moments that are going on throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, this is just like a fun album that we really need right now in 2022. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Yeah. I think it's got two sides. One is darker and heavier, and there's a, uh, a side that is more fun and somehow lighter. But altogether, it's just one sound, I think, especially when compared to our previous record. Yeah, I think that's a really fair comparison too. And yeah, there there is a lot of like darker, heavier moments that are going on throughout it too. But it's just got that great pop sensibility to it as well too, which is is such a great trademark of the band. Absolutely, yeah, it's something we always love to do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, with that in mind, I mean, what was it like to start writing for this album? Well, uh, of course, it, it had to happen during the pandemic because that, that's when we got signed with Frontiers. And um, so uh, I think all the darker part of the album was influenced by that in a way, uh, in some of the lyrics too. Uh, but then also we wanted to imagine how it would be when the pandemic was going to be over and we were going to start having some more fun again, you know? And then from that, it spawned the idea for the, the little movie that we're putting together. But I guess we'll talk about that later. <laughs> and uh, uh, because it, it, it was never conceived as a concept album, even though then we found a way to connect some of the songs. Yeah, that was one thing that I really got the impression of the more that I listened to it is that it feels like thematically all of the songs fit together. And, you know, obviously with an album, you want everything to flow together nicely from start to finish. And it, yeah, it is more than just a collection of songs that fit together. It, it does feel good together thematically. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't really planned, but we realized as we went along, uh, Herma and I, that you know, as we were writing the lyrics and we were actually recording, we, we just got this vibe that was given from uh, what was happening around us. You know? I think that was probably because what we, we, we've been living, I mean, uh, we put ourselves in the songs. So that was natural to, to have something that was organic and... Yeah, but also we just spent time with, with the two of us on the band you know, when they came to record because there were so many restrictions to do anything else. We spent so much time in the studio, mostly because there was nothing else to do. Really. <laughs> yeah. So thinking about that as well, too, I mean, obviously with the, the pandemic going on and you being able to have more time to be able to work on this album, do you, do you feel like uh, any of the music uh, changed because you had more time to be able to work on the music for so long? Yes, yes, because especially because uh, the album started that the band was a four piece and then we got another guitar player again. Uh, we used to be a five piece, then we switched to four and then we we're five piece again. So, but uh, initially the album was conceived for just one guitar player and the other guy came almost at the end of the album and he added so much to the album. And it was a great fit. We were so lucky to find him. Uh, and uh, yeah, it added a lot. And I guess if he didn't go for so long, we would have never had that extra flavor in the album. 
Oh, that totally makes sense. And yeah, when you are able to have a second guitarist, I mean, it just makes everything feel thicker and it just has like a greater guitar sound throughout instead of just having to like double up everything. You know, it's just, I especially imagine in that live setting too, being able to have two guitars just feels so much fuller. Yeah, we always we always prefer to have two guitars. We did in the past. We was for just for uh, logistical reasons. I mean, because it's easier for touring and stuff. But we always prefer to be five. Oh, very cool. And I'm glad to see that that is the lineup again. Because again, when I listen to the album, it just especially when it comes to like the production, you can hear how well a five piece works together with these songs and how full everything sounds together. I mean, having the two guitars, the bass, just having everything lined up with just the strings alone, let alone everything else filling out the sound. Uh, thank you so much. We're especially proud of the production because as, as you may know, we, we as a band, we do everything ourselves. We do everything in house, the videos, the music. We have this studio, yeah. you may see a little corner here but um, you know we we are video makers uh, you know and, uh, now we're a human uh, we are human <laughs> form where video makers uh, is our trade that's what we do as a big job so um, we're lucky in that way that we can always explore new things and, and be here full time basically because and, and also have the creativity control of Absolutely, and, and Frontiers, the record company, was absolutely uh, okay with us having total control of, of the creative part of the album. And yeah, I mean, that's, that was so cool to see that you did get the opportunity from Frontiers to be able to be a part of their label. I mean, considering the roster that they have on their label, being able to see uh, a band like this being able to add to that repertoire is just so cool to see. Yeah, I, we know we are a little bit different, but indeed we are aliens. We, we don't match with any other bands. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little strange. It, it's, it's not the, we're not the usual band, kind of band for, for that kind of label, but at the same time, they've been great to us so far. So it's working, it's working well. And I also think that we have a lot of hard rock vibes and glam vibes. I mean, yeah, we, for we sure. A, we, took, we take our inspiration from Kiss and hard so, rock bands. So I think somehow there, there's something that uh, keeps us uh, in the roster. Oh, definitely. I think there's a, a lot of things that can attach you to the label uh, musically what's going on, but I also love the variety as well, too, being able to expand the sound of a label, showing that they can show all these different sides of the personality. And I mean, obviously, there's a lot of personality that's going on with this band and you're able to add a different sound. And I think that was a great idea of Frontiers to be able to bring you in because you do bring something different to the table. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, that was absolutely something that we knew from the from the outset, uh, even before there was an album. But we we had written four new songs that that eventually developed in the whole album. And um, but the idea was just to create something that would always surprise the the listener. Just 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 surprise, you know. Just add that element that oh, I wouldn't expect them to do this there as much as much as possible, you know, because. Um, when you listen to the radio or Spotify, I don't know, I, I personally get the feeling that everything sounds a little bit too, too much the same. So maybe we're, you know, we're not so trendy in a way, but at the same time, we're doing something that it's really exciting for us and we hope it's going to be exciting for everyone else. Oh, definitely. And I think that's such a great way to go about it, too. I mean, you know, to be yourselves, write the music that you want to write and, you know, just like a, a throw away the objectivity. You know, it's like if you want to make a heavier, darker sound like you did on this album, that's a great idea. And being able to maintain that core sound of what the band has always been, but being able to expand the sound, which is what you've done on this album. It's a great thing. Well, thank you. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I mean, also, we couldn't do it any, any other way, honestly. We, we couldn't just be, oh, let's do a song like this guy or this other guy. We just need to do our thing, you know? Yeah, we do what we do. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we got, so I think to, we get to a point of maturity that uh, it shows on the record. Uh, and I'm really glad the way it turned out, yeah. 
Oh, definitely. And you know what I do really appreciate so much as well is like you care so much about what's going on musically, but visually everything that's going on as well, too. I mean, like uh, the, the videos that have been released so far just add so much like visual drama to everything that's going on. I mean, there's so many great colors that are going on behind it. So I think you guys chose some great songs to be able to show off so far for the singles. I mean, it seemed like a lot of work went into the videos. It was it really paid off. <laughs> it is. It is. It's, a, it's really a lot of work. But as I said, it's something that we really enjoy and that we really feel comfortable doing. I mean, also, you know, the image of the band is not something that uh, we just, it, it's not just a gimmick. It's something that we enjoy. We, we always envision something like this and we just keep it up because we can't be anywhere else, any other way, you know. We could have a band. No, this is all part of the same thing. It's all one thing, you know. Oh, definitely. So, you know, thinking about that as well, too, I mean, like, how did the singles come about for this album? Like, being able to decide what was going to be shown off ahead of the album? Oh, that's, a, that's a really good question. <laughs> because uh, we, we talked about it a lot, about choosing which, which singles to, you know, uh, to release and which ones were gonna also become videos. You know? uh, so sometimes the video uh, <laughs> to control. Yeah, to sometimes, sometimes, choices. sometimes you said, "Oh, we have an idea for this kind of video, so let's pick the best song for." It. We kind of worked it the other way, you know, in a way, because we we love so much to to do videos also, and uh, we say, "Okay, we love all of the songs. Let's just pick the songs that." We, translate better with the ideas of videos that we have in mind. I don't know if it makes sense. Oh yeah, that totally makes sense. And like I said before, I mean, it was great choices so far. I mean, I'm not sure um, uh, if there's any more videos or singles that are coming off from the album before it comes out, but what you've chosen so far have been great picks. Oh, you, you, you're gonna see what's coming next. <laughs> if you like this, you, you're gonna love what's coming next. Yeah. Oh, so great right. to hear that. Have you listened to the whole album? Oh, yes, I have. I've been uh, checking it out all week. Oh, uh, great. great. Oh, so cool. And, you know, thinking about that, and uh, going back a little bit, like uh, you mentioned before, like, uh, yeah, I mean, you truly created this album by yourselves, you know, and the production matters so much and making sure it's going to sound the best that it possibly can. And when you have done that since the beginning of the band, I mean, you're always improving and you're finding out, finding yeah. out what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. Uh, dur during this uh, production cycle, I mean, what did you learn most about recording? Uh, I learned that uh, sometimes you don't have to fiddle too much with the production. Even though our record, I mean, there's a lot of elements because that's just the way we like it, a lot of electronic elements. But uh, you have to keep, you have to focus on the melody, always on the melody of the songs. The song has to work even if you just strum it on an acoustic guitar or even if you just sing the lyrics straight out, it should just work even just like that. So we, we always start with the melody. And um, other than that, you know, we always, of course, try to create a sound that is uh, uh, catchy, that it doesn't stray too much from what uh, what is the uh, what what you listen to on the radio. Even though we do stray a little bit, but uh, you don't want to just go totally another way. You just want to create something that is friendly and catchy, and then you give it that you know the the little shock when in the writing part, you, know, you take the song somewhere else when you write it or when you arrange it. Yeah, and I can totally see that throughout the entire album too. And I totally notice all of the layers that are going on throughout it too with the production and the instruments that are going on. Because when you listen to a particular instrument, you can hear how it all fits together with the melodies and the harmonies. And there's so many different layers that are going on, but it doesn't take anything away from the main melody of the song. And that is such a hard craft to be able to do where you can have all of that and not take it away from the main catchy part of the song. And it's just, it keeps happening and happening over and over on this album and to great detail. Yeah, we're, we're proud of that. Thank you so much, because that's something that we really were, uh, were careful about, you know, not to overwhelm with the arrangements and keep the, the melody up front 
you know, the, the, the core of the song at front. Now, this may sound obvious, but of course, we, we really love to create something that we really love to listen. And exactly. We actually love the music we are creating. We're not just doing songs because we have to, but uh, we, we really need to enjoy every step of the process and everything we put into it. Yeah, otherwise there's no reason to do it. I mean, it, it can be very much a struggle and there's a lot of trials and tribulations to being in a band. But I mean, as long as you keep making the music you want to make and you keep making the right decisions for the band and you're happy with those decisions and being able to progress, that's such a great feeling. And, you know, uh, from going from the first album all the way here, I mean, it's just great to see the progression of the band and where you are right now. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. So, you know, uh, going back into the visuals again, I mean, obviously with the, the, the videos are so great, but, you know, one thing that is not a lost art, at least to me any, anyways, is the album cover. I always find that to be so important. And obviously on this album, it's a very striking album cover. I mean, it's definitely one that can grab your attention. Where, where did the idea come from to be able to use this as the album cover? Uh, we, we thought about it a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, it was a long discussion between yeah. us, but uh, the, the thing that was short in the beginning that we wanted something uh, with a photo, uh, not, not just an artwork, just because I think our image and our visual is strong and we need to uh, deliver to the, the people that don't, doesn't know the band, that know the band, uh, what we look like. But of course, we didn't want it to do something obvious we, we wanted to deliver a message uh, i think we get we got inspired from um successful covers there was one cover that, that inspired us there was the cover from motley Cruz, too fast for love and that's kind of the same uh, idea you know just we something, something, that, iconic. Uh, something iconic, iconic that, 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 that is, but at the same time that transmits power and uh, self-assuredness and coming from a woman also, you know, so that something that it's, uh, you know. That tells about battles we've been through somehow. Yeah, so I love it's the, strong the, and it's a uh, badass at the same time. Yeah. And, and I love that. I love that you can take that inspiration, but you're able to make it your own as well. You know, just like uh, being able to take an idea and just like show how it's influenced you, but be able to make it your own. It's, it's so cool to see that. <laughs> so somehow it eventually it happens even if we don't think about it but we we put our our style in what we do and it's something that came naturally yeah i think it happens with every band maybe you know yeah, I, don't I don't know, know. <laughs> oh for sure so you know thinking about that as well too i mean obviously with uh, working on this album uh, in the pandemic and now with it just coming out in a few weeks. I mean, how does it feel to finally have this thing see the light of day? Oh, it's such a relief. <laughs> we can't wait but, because there's so much work behind it and still it's going on. We're still working on the videos and the promotion as you, well, as you may well know. Uh, so, and the production of the merchandise for the tour so there's, there's a lot of work still going on. So we know that everything has to be done by that date. So we know that the day the album is coming out, all these things are coming to, to a close. <laughs> yeah. Many others are going to start, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a closing of one circle and the opening of another. <laughs> Oh, and I can imagine too. I mean, especially when you've been sitting on the songs as long as you have too, and just, you know, wanting to be able to get those songs out, but there's so many things that can uh, sidetrack it. But now that it is coming out and you can work on that new circle now and uh, start working on the, the touring process for the album, you know, and, and it's going to be great to see how these songs translate in that live setting. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> we're still thinking about we're, it. We're, 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 uh, we just started uh, a couple of weeks ago with the rehearsals of all the new material. And of course, when you're... Uh, in, in the band, in a live setting, you have to uh, not really rearrange, but, you know, treat the songs in a different way, because also, you know, that the fans are going to want to listen to the older songs as well. So, yeah, everything has to make sense, you know, and, and the show that goes with it, especially, you know, you have to find out what 
uh, we are looking for something new. To, something new, to, exactly. To, to, and as we as as the control freaks that we are, we have to figure <laughs> out everything ourselves, you know. So. And we, we also have to figure out how to bring all our ideas actually on stage because, of course, the logistical difficulties are are. The, I mean, the, it's always the hard, problems. you know, when you have a lot of stuff and you have to to, to to tour with that, and you know, there's not much money out there, especially for a smaller band like us, but. We have to make everything work, you know, and we want to put out a good show, most more than anything else. So, mm -hmm. but we've been doing that so far, so we're okay. Oh yeah, and I I love the fact that you pay so much attention to the live show, and you want to make sure that you know just everything that's going on audibly and visually is going on as well too, and just make it a, a fun show from start to finish. And you're always constantly thinking about that when it comes, you know, from like the album cycles and the live shows. You know, whether you're doing one-offs or festivals or touring, you know, just like having different ideas constantly flowing. So every time that you go see you guys, it's going to be a different experience. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you had the chance to check out our uh, live uh, enhanced from to, from 2021. Yeah. Uh, in 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 the middle of the pandemic, we were so bored and worried that we had nothing to do, and that's where when we were four in the band, and uh, it was just the four of us, and we decided to rent uh, a TV studio, not this one. <laughs> But a much bigger and better to see with a with a full crew, uh, and since they were out of work, also they gave us a great deal, and we were able to do it. So uh, we had the chance to create in just a few weeks, like uh, a show like we never did before. Like, what if we could have this great show and put it on the road? But actually, we're just going to be in a TV studio because uh, it's here in Rome, so we're not going to have to travel. We're not going to have to spend money for logistics and stuff so just let's just create it create the our dream show our yeah. dream show and put it up there and it's on youtube you can check it out and it, it's really a great show it's something uh it went out it went live on may 8th may, 20, may 20, 2021 and um, of course we sold merch during the show and and we could pay all the expenses but that was great a great experience. I, I must say our fans love us <laughs> because they were really generous. They are the uh, best fans in the world. We got the best fans, yeah. Every band says that. <laughs> our, that's it. Oh, oh that, that is just so cool to hear. And I'm actually going to go check that out after uh, we're yeah. done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go yeah. check that out on YouTube. That, that sounds incredible. Yeah, it, 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 it really came out great. Yeah, we, we had a full crew and we had a great sound technicians, it was, it was great. It, it's a different thing, you'll see, it, it, it's, it's very different, you know, because we took time, we, we, we did like blocks of songs and then we did like a really, really short break to change the stage so we could put on, you know. So I, I don't wanna spoil too much, just go and check <laughs> it out. Everyone check out Live Enhanced 2021, it's looking beautiful. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that now. And, and you know, again, with the with the live shows that are going to be coming up too, I mean, I'm glad to see, you know, the, the practice sessions are going good and you're thinking about what songs are going to be working in the sets and, you know, uh, being able to adapt to the different situations because you never know how that's going to work out. I mean, sometimes it's a half hour, sometimes 45 minutes, sometimes it's headlining. I mean, being able to adapt to those situations is so important, but I can definitely tell what the the kind of show that you do that you are able to adapt to those situations quite well. Yeah, uh, well, this is, a, is going to be a new show, so uh, I really don't know yet, but but we always, when, when we plan it, we're always very uh, concerned with the logistics. So we, we create with we that in mind already, you know, it's not just, okay, let's, Let's build the pyramid, and then you, you don't know how to, you're going to carry the pyramid. You know what I mean? Uh, so you create something. We try to be to to build something around each one of us, so it's kind of self-contained. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but and I think for, for this cycle, we're working more on being ourselves. The show, 
uh, in the best we, we did like with um, set, uh, props. stage props and stuff but this time we, we want we really want to be sure that uh, each one that of us the core is yeah. it's us Oh, that, that just sounds great to hear that too. I mean, especially with a new album worth of songs to be able to choose from making the best show that you can being yourselves on stage and still being able to show off the different sides of the band. I mean, all those things are so important. And yeah, I mean, uh, now with the uh, album touring cycle, that's going to be coming up. I mean, it sounds like it's a great time to be in the band right now. Absolutely. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, we can't wait to get out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, time is running so fast, so probably it's tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're always we're always fighting against time. So much to do, always. Oh, I can imagine. And you know, thinking of that too, I mean, is there anything that you did uh, want to mention as far as like uh, live shows or anything else that's going to be coming up? Well, we got a couple of shows in uh, in Italy that, that are coming up this month. One is in. Uh, Milan uh, on uh, July 16th, 16th. Uh, another one in Rome on uh, July 20th, 23rd, 26th, 23rd, okay, July 23rd, <laughs> and then we got, uh, now we got a, a tour in Europe uh, supporting Imperial Age, a band from Russia, you might have heard. Uh, and it's going to be like 12 or 11 shows. Through, uh, throughout Europe, yes. Europe yeah. oh, that's incredible and I'm, gl I'm glad to see all those things are coming along and I'm so happy to see everything that's going on I mean with this new album coming out the 15th of July through Frontiers Music I'm getting the chance to be able to hear this <clears throat> again just a, a really fun dark heavy a catchy album that we need in 2022 and i can just imagine those live shows are just going to be so much fun and you know just the more that you get to do them the more that you get to hear how those new songs are translating winning over those new fans and like i said it's it sounds like it's a great time to be able to be in the band and i thank both of you so much for being able to take the time to be able to talk to me about all of it it's been a great time pleasure was a, was a pleasure thank you for having us Oh, not a problem. Um, before we're done, is there anything else you'd like to mention that I hadn't brought up yet? Oh, well, I, I think uh, we can tell to the people that are listening right now that, I mean, if you're curious about Ben and you want to get the full package and you want to go deep in what we do, uh, you should check out our Kickstarter campaign because um, the album is coming on July 15, but we are working on something more because we we never stopped. Yeah, we, we, said, we said, you know, the album is too easy. So we, we, created, we decided to create to movie. this movie, <laughs> this little movie, which is going to include songs from the album, but there's also going to be a full-fledged uh, sci-fi story to go along with it. And um, so the Kickstarter campaign is to help produce the movie, which is already in process. And of course, you will have the chance to grab an exclusive piece of merchandise that are related to the album and, of course, to the movie that will be gone forever after the campaign. So, I mean, if we if you enjoy the, the visual stuff of the band, that is a must. Actually, the campaign is going really well and we've already reached our goal, but now we're shooting for our stretch goal. Uh, so check it out. And... If you want to join, hey, more power to you, and you're going to get very special stuff from Sick and Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. I mean, that sounds like an absolutely great reason to join Patreon and be able to see all of that come together. And then when the final product finally comes to fruition, that just sounds incredible. Yeah, yeah, it would be amazing. It would be something that, you know, very few bands, I guess, they were yeah. tempted, if ever, I don't know. I mean, it's not easy even for us. No, but it's, but it's fun. It's I mean, like, yeah. especially it's fun because you see so many people already participating. Mm -hmm. So you know that that raises that raises the bar for us a lot because there's there's a lot of expectation already. So we want we no want pressure. to deliver. <laughs> we, want, we want to deliver. You know. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Well, I think that's a great note to end on. And again, I thank you both for taking the time to do this and being able to promote this great album, promote everything that you got going on as a band, being able to promote the Patreon, the upcoming shows, touring, all of that great stuff that's going on. And it's great to see the rise of the band, uh, seeing all the new fans that I've seen from being able to check out 
what you've done with Frontiers Music, all everyone that you've won over so far and everyone you will be winning over when the album finally comes out on July 15th. And once again, I just thank you both for taking the time to do this. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Well, I, I know it's a busy press day, so I'll let you go. So I just want to thank you again for doing this. And uh, I will hopefully have this interview available tomorrow on YouTube. And then the week of release, I'll also be featuring this on my radio show with at least a track off the album in promotion. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, not a problem. Uh, you two have a great rest of the day. Take care. Thanks, uh, you too.